Dit is Argezo Radio. Hello, this is February the 12th, 2010. This is Dr. John Waterman. I'm coming to you from deep inside the castle, and you're listening to the Waterman Files. And this is for uh, all of you that are behind enemy lines in occupied territory, and as Mark Kornke might say, west, northwest, and midwest. Okay, guys, put your hand, head around that one. <laughs> That I'll keep them busy for a while. About two hours uh, prior to this broadcast, all of a sudden I became uh, nauseated and completely disoriented, dizzy, and uh, and I uh, I'm going to push through this. Um, I had this happen once before, right before broadcast, and then it went away. And uh, I'm not into conspiracy theories. It's a fact. They are conspiring. But too many of us think that we're not enough of a target to really become a target. But we are. We just must be very careful. We have no idea what their capabilities are. So we'll press on today. And uh, today I want to give some more contact information again. And I want to thank some folks, but before I do, let me give some contact info. Uh, you can contact me at dr for doctor John Waterman at argusogradio.org. You can also contact us if you're interested in community at community at mailvault.com. If you're interested in uh, another aspect of community, Specifically, you can write scrip, S-C-R-I-P, at mailvault.com. I want to thank uh, Scott, who's written a few times, unable to get back. You know, sometimes I send emails, folks. You don't get them. Um, so if you have written and you didn't get them, try again, because uh, I've been answering. Uh, I want to thank uh, uh, Shirley and Keith for writing. Robert, I, I think you all are uh, Robert P. I think you're in uh, southwest Michigan, and uh, uh, we've got uh, a very large uh, response to you uh, again that we'll send out. I'm trying to take care of what your concerns are about. And I want to thank all those that constantly write and uh, reassure us uh, here at uh, the Waterman Files. In the meantime... Um, uh, with all the thanks that goes to that, I'd also like to thank the crew behind the scenes at our Gusso Cons is constantly there, the steady rock uh, keeping this uh, going. And uh, many of the listeners in the United States don't know this, but our Gusso was uh, a news site for many years before it became a radio. The reason it's probably not familiar is because it wasn't in English. A very vul, a very large amount of of uh, news and information uh, on their news site, and uh, so behind the scenes of our Guso Radio is a very oh guess I could say uh, uh, eclectic collection of authors and journalists, some of which have been at it for a long time. And as you folks know, if you are a journalist or know of a journalist, getting paid to write anymore is almost gone. Uh, the news industry has changed significantly. And, uh, you know, so what uh, major circulated papers are down 10%, that's not much. I mean, that's a lot, but it's not gone. But the bottom line is it's very difficult today to get into an occupation that pays to write. 
um, it's very difficult because of all the venues and directions that we have. But any, anyway, uh, so we have to pick those things that we think are important, and we have to spend our time in those. And so I thank you with all the choices that you have that uh, you've chosen to be here and to listen to us, and uh, we're going to try and get better. And so talking about uh, the Waterman Files and some of the things that are going on behind the scenes, we've got uh, Tobias on right now. Tobias, are you there? I sure am. Hi, everybody. Well, Tobias has been very active behind the scenes, and uh, I wanted to introduce him today and let him kind of give you a little bit of an update about what uh, is going on. Uh, how's it going for you, Tobias, and tell us what's up. It's going pretty good. I'm sorry to hear that something seems to have hit you suddenly. That's a little worrisome, but these are the things that that <laughs> happen, right? Well, been, we hope they don't happen more than not happen. Go ahead. Yeah, makes you wonder. <laughs> makes you wonder. It's just too many things out there that can happen that we don't even know about, and that's okay. really that's really what we talk about a little bit, you and I. And I know that I yes, well, I can go on and on about being prepared about things, and mm-hmm. and probably till it turns people green in the face. But I mean, as much as we've got to be positive. And think about things generally in a positive light and try to keep going day by day. There's other realities that we simply can't help but face. And part of that reality is that we live in a different world now than we've ever lived before. And there are things happening all around us. Um, I know that many of your listeners are aware of I mean, a lot of things that even the general public isn't aware of. And, and that's kind of frightening to think that there's a lot of people, hundreds of millions of people on this planet that go day by day and don't have even one iota of knowledge about the things that your listeners know about. Um, right, right. So what do you got? Uh, when we when we uh, talked about community and script, we wanted to support them behind the scenes. There's a lot going on. One of the things I think that Tobias has been able to do is kind of give us a place to coagulate. <laughs> <laughs> that means to collect, I guess, to come together. But uh, some thoughts and information that he's got, he's going to be sharing with you or or are, are uh, happening behind the scenes and have been uh, ongoing development. Uh, uh, you know, when I talk, uh, I I really like being on our Goose Oak Radio on a on a regular basis. If I were to be on more frequently, it would probably interfere with my capacity to actually feed myself. But but there are times when I do get inspired and I. Uh, I have some things that I wanted to share. I think Tobias has been able to capture some of that. But um, he's got a lot of talents, and I think uh, he's going to be sharing here some of the stuff he's been doing. So go ahead there. Sure. Well, what, what, what I've been doing, because John and I have spent a lot of time in the past and and continue to spend a lot of time discussing the situations and life and all sorts of different things, but what we've done really... Uh-huh is come to a realization that you've got a lot of experience and you've got a lot of knowledge that uh, you've certainly shared with me, um, probably just a fraction of it, actually. And I realized that there's a lot of good information in there that could really help people. I think that's why uh, Arguso has you on every week, because uh, you have inf- information that would be helpful to everybody. In... In that respect, um, what we've done is put together a website, and I know that many of you have already heard a bit about this. Um, I'll tell you right now, the web address is w. Actually, it's the John Chronicles. It's the John Chronicles. Chronicles is C H R O N I C L E S dot WordPress dot com. If anybody's on the computer, you might want to take a look at that. To sum it up, really, is we've 